Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about how this equal operator is used in Java for string comparison or exactly how this equal operator works in string. Let's see an example so that you can understand. So I have created a string 1 and string 2 using new operator. I am creating a, a string object. Okay, and I am using string 1 is equal to string 2. I am checking for that. Actually, this one stores the address of this object and this one stores the address of the second object. And we are trying to compare it. Of course, it will go to the this block because they are not equal. They, they are in a different address. So exactly speaking, address str1 will have the address 1 in memory. str2 will have the address 2 in the memory so we are comparing these two though they are equal the contents are equal actually so there is no difference between the contents but still they are not equal because we are checking the address here okay so let's see the second example i have the same string but here it is a string literal i am not using a new operator whereas here i am using a new operator and creating a string object here is a string literal okay so string literal i am creating and i am trying to use the same comparison str1 and str2 this time it will go to this block they are equal these two are equal because whenever you use a string literal if the contents are equal they will be if the contents are same okay if the contents are same they will be stored in the same address so this will have for example a address and this will also be in the it will also refer to the a address because the contents are equal okay so let's debug this to understand in a better way so we are creating a string one object okay it is address one and this is a different address though the contents are same it will be created in a two different address so unfortunately it goes to the else block the objects in memory are not equal though the contents are equal the contents are same address are different okay these two address memory address are different that's why it's going to the else block now i'm going to use string literal the only difference between this example and this example is we are using new operator here we are using string literal this will go luckily to the first block because the contents are same and they are created using string literal java what it does is if if you are trying to create the second string using string literal, it will check the contents. If the contents are same, it will just refer to the same same address. So what happens is it created an object, Java object, Java string object, and it has an address here. And whenever you do this step, this execution, it checks the contents. If it is equal, just refer assign this address to str2. That's how it works here. That's why it's going to the first block. Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best.